Caneprol 3, 4, 5, 7 tetrahydroxyflavone is a natural flavanol, a type of flavonoid, found in a variety of plants and plant derived foods. Caneprol is a yellow crystalline solid with a melting point of 276 to 278 degrees Celsius, 529 to 532 degrees Fahrenheit. It is slightly soluble in water and highly soluble in hot ethanol, ethers, and DMSO. Caneprol acts as an antioxidant by reducing oxidative stress. Many studies suggest that consuming caneprol may reduce the risk of various cancers, and it is currently under consideration as a possible cancer treatment. It is named for 17th-century German naturalist Engelbert Kompfer. Natural occurrence Caneprol is a secondary metabolite found in many plants, plant-derived foods, and traditional medicines. In plants and food Caneprol is common in Pteridophyta, Pinophyta and Angiospermae. Within Pteridophyta and Pinophyta, caneprol has been found in diverse families. Caneprol has also been identified in both dicotyledons and monocotyledons of angiosperms. The total average intake of flavanols and flavones in a normal diet is estimated as 23 mg per day, to which caneprol contributes approximately 17%. Common foods that contain caneprol include, apples, grapes, tomatoes, green tea, potatoes, onions, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, squash, cucumbers, lettuce, green beans, peaches, blackberries, raspberries, and spinach. Plants that are known to contain caneprol include aloe vera, coccinea grandis, cascuta chinensis, euphorbia pecanensis, glycine max, hypericum perforatum, pinus silvestris, moringa oleifera, rosmarinus officinalis, sambucus nigra, and tuna sinensis, and ilex. It also is present in endive. Biosynthesis The biosynthesis of caneprol occurs in four major steps. Phenylalanine is converted into 4-comaroyl CoA. 4-comaroyl CoA combines with three molecules of malonyl CoA to form naringenin chalcone tetrahydroxychalcone through the action of the enzyme chalcone synthase. Naringenin chalcone is converted to naringenin and then a hydroxyl group is added to form dihydrochemphoral. Dihydrochemphorol has a double bond introduced into it to form caneprol. The amino acid phenylalanine is formed from the shikimate pathway, which is the pathway that plants use in order to make aromatic amino acids. This pathway is located in the plant plastid, and is the entry to the biosynthesis of phenylpropanoids. The phenylpropanoid pathway is the pathway that converts phenylalanine into tetrahydroxychalcone. Flavanols, including caneprol, are products of this pathway. Pharmacokinetics Caneprol is ingested as a glycoside, absorbed in the small intestine, usually by passive diffusion due to caneprol's lipophilicity, and metabolized in various areas of the body. In the small intestine, caneprol is metabolized to glucuronides and sulfoconjugates by intestinal enzymes. It can also be metabolized by colon microflora, which can hydrolyze the glycosides to aglycones or form simple phenolic compounds. These compounds can be absorbed or excreted. Caneprol is also extensively metabolized in the liver to form glucurono conjugated and sulfo conjugated forms. These forms of caneprol, and caneprol itself, can then be excreted in urine. About 2.5% of caneprol ingested is excreted as urine. Much of the rest of ingested caneprol is present in the plasma and tissues in nanomolar concentrations. Potential pharmacology Numerous preclinical studies have shown caneprol and some glycosides of caneprol have a wide range of pharmacological activities, including antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, anti-cancer, cardioprotective, neuroprotective, anti-diabetic, anti-osteoporotic, estrogenic, anti-estrogenic, anxiolytic, analgesic, and anti-allergic activities. Anti-cancer effects In vitro studies along with some animal testing has demonstrated the wide range of potential anti-cancer properties of caneprol. It has been shown in malignant cancer cells to interrupt cell growth, limit angiogenesis, induce apoptosis, and to reduce their available energy and ability to metastasize. 
Caneferol has also been shown to reduce MMP3 protein activity inferring potential ability to reduce metastasis. Breast cancer Estrogen receptors are important in both maintaining a normal mammary gland, and in the development of primary and secondary breast cancer. Caneferol has been shown to interact with the estrogen receptor pathway and alter signaling in order to help slow growth. This compound exhibits ability to lower levels of aromatase. Caneferol has also been found to induce apoptosis in breast cancer cells through extracellular signal regulated kinase 1 half activation and upregulation of p53. Ovarian cancer Available evidence has shown that caneferol can inhibit VEGF production and suppress ovarian cancer cell metastasis in vitro. Leukemia Caneferol has been shown to reduce growth in pro-myelocytic leukemia cells through altering the cell cycle. Bladder, prostate, and colorectal cancer Various studies have shown that intake of caneferol containing foods is not significantly associated with decreased bladder cancer, prostate cancer, or colorectal cancer risk. Gastric cancer a case-controlled study found that consumption of caneferol-containing foods was associated with a reduced gastric cancer risk. Pancreatic cancer An eight-year study found the consumption of three flavanols, caneferol, quercetin, and myricetin, correlated with a lower risk of pancreatic cancer among current smokers, but not non-smokers or ex-smokers. Lung cancer in A549 lung cancer cells, caneferol up-regulated pro-apoptotic BACs and BAD genes, while a down-regulated anti-apoptotic BCL2 and BCLXL expression. This resulted in an increase in apoptosis of the cancer cells. Diabetes A correlation was found between increased levels of caneferol in the diet and a reduced relative risk of type 2 diabetes in a cohort study in 2005. Additionally, 6 methoxycaneferol 3 o beta d robinobiocide was shown to have significant inhibitory activity of aldose reductase, which plays an important role in diabetic complications. Cardiovascular disorders A cohort study in men showed that consumption of flavonoid-containing food decreased the risk of mortality from coronary heart disease. Another cohort study showed that high intake of tea is inversely associated with myocardial infarction. Caneferol has also been shown to have a protective effect on the apoptosis induced by the ischemia reperfusion of cardiac cells. Due to this, it has a promising pharmacological role in preventing cardiovascular disease. Antibacterial activity in a four-week study, caneferol and its glycosides decreased the number of Helicobacter pylori colonies in gerbils. It also has been shown to work synergistically with antibiotics. Antiviral activity Caneferol has been shown to inhibit or decrease the activity of enzymes that partake in viral infections such as reverse transcriptase, viral proteases and neuraminidase. Antioxidant effects Caneferol has been shown to have an array of antioxidant effects in vitro and in vivo. At low concentrations, it acts as a superoxide scavenger, specifically against the highly reactive hydroxyl radical and peroxynitrite species. At high concentrations it increases the activity or expression of antioxidant enzymes such as superoxide dismutase, catalase, and heme OXYGENASE1. Caneferol can prevent the oxidation of low-density lipid proteins indicating a potential protective role in atherosclerosis. Notes External links Media related to caneferol at Wikimedia Commons Flavonoid composition of tea, comparison of black and green teas.